In this question, there is a particle which is at rest at point O. Okay, it is then released and it falls freely under gravity. So it goes down. Okay, until it reaches point A. So this is point A, which is 1.25 meters below O. So this distance is 1.25 meters. Find the speed of P at A and the time taken for P to reach A. All right. So we know that uh, U is 0. S is 1.25 meters. All right. Time they're asking, but we know acceleration. Acceleration is uh, 10 meters per second square due to gravity. All right. So we know that 2AS equal to V square minus U square. So we can use it 2 times acceleration is 10. Distance is 1.25. V square is unknown, but we know U is this. So if we square root this, this square root and square will get cancelled out and we have to square this also. So if I square root, what is the value of this? 20 times 1.25 will be 25. So that is 5 meters per second. That is the speed at point A. The particle continues to fall, but now its downward acceleration in t seconds after passing through a after passing through a okay not from the starting is this all right so acceleration is 10 minus 0 0.3 t all right find the total distance okay distance it is not displacement keep in mind we can get displacement directly from acceleration but not distance okay p has fallen three seconds after being released from o three seconds after being released from O. Oh, we didn't find time in previous one, right? We have to find time also. So let's find time also first. So let's do it here. V equal to U plus 80. So V we know now is five, U is zero, acceleration is 10, time is this. So time comes out to be five over 10, which is 0 0.5 seconds or half seconds. 0 0.5. All right. So they are saying three seconds after being released from O. So we have to reduce this 0 0.5 seconds from there. All right. So let's start. First, we need to find distance, and we have acceleration. That means we have to integrate this so that we get velocity. So it will be integration of 10 minus 0. 3t dt. All right. So this is velocity. A dt will give us velocity after point A. Okay. This point A after that. So it will be 10t minus 0.3t square over 2 plus c. Now we need to find this c. All right. So we know that the speed when it was at A was 5 meters per second. We'll use this one to get C. So when time was 0, not, not 0 0.5 seconds, because they, they're saying after passing through A. This is what they said. So time is after passing through A. So at A, the time is 0. Okay. We will take care of this 0 0.5 second later, but right now it is 0. So uh, we'll substitute here. So at when t was 0, velocity was 5 meters per second. That's what we will use. 5 equal to 10 times 0 minus, okay, let's cancel this, 0 0.15. 0 0.15 t squared plus c. So this is 0, okay, this is also 0, other. this is 0 square, right? t square is 0 square. So c is 5. So our equation for velocity is 10 t minus 0 0.15 t squared plus 5 now because we got c as 5 very good but we want to find distance so we have to integrate it once more so let's integrate this v dt equal to 10 t 
minus 0 0.15 t square plus 5 dt. All right. So this will give us distance, displacement rather. Okay, and it will become 10 t square over 2 minus uh, that becomes 0 0.15 t cube over 3 plus 5 t and plus c. Okay, so now we have to find c. How can you find c? The s is the distance from a, this from a, right? So we know the distance from a is 0 when time is 0. So distance is 0 when time is 0. So this will be 0. This will also be 0. And this will also be 0. So c equal to 0. Why all of them are 0? Because all of them have t. Yeah, a t is 0. Let's confirm from the sentence why I took time equal to 0. Look, the particle continues to fall and uh, downward acceleration, acceleration, this acceleration is t seconds after passing through A. So the acceleration is from starting from A, that means the dis displacement will also be from here. Okay. So now we will write the final equation. S equal to uh, 10 and 2 will get cancelled. 5 t square. 3 and this will also get cancelled out 0 0.05 yeah q plus 5t okay now they said distance not displacement if it was just displacement we would have spaced, we have, would have just replaced 2.5 not 3 seconds anymore they say 3 seconds right after being released from o that means we have to subtract 0 0.5 this time we found this one we have to subtract. So, we can't do that because this it is a cube, cubic. It will have some turning points. Yeah? So, we have to make sure that there is no turning point between 0 and 0 0.25. And how can we find turning points? We'll do what? We'll factor this. So, uh, sorry, we'll factor the velocity. The turning point means the stationary point. And for s, the stationary point will be ds over dt, which is velocity. So, we will uh, make velocity equal to zero when it is turning. So velocity equation was this one. So let's do it equal to zero equal to 10 t minus 0 0.15 t square plus five. Now we can directly use our calculator by putting this equal to a, this equal to b and this equal to c. Using my calculator, I got turning point at 67 seconds, very, very high, which is not between 0 and 2.5 seconds. So that means we are free to use this equation, just substitute 2.5 because there is no turning point. So 5, 2.5 square minus 0 0.05, 2.5 cube plus 5, 2.5, it gives us 42. 0.97 meters. Let's see the question again. Question saying, find the total distance P has fallen three seconds after being released. That means being released from O, it already uh, traveled how much distance? 1.25. Can you see here? 1.25 was given. So total distance is 42.97 plus 1.25. And that is about 43.40, which is about 44.2 meters. That is the total distance is traveled. So it is not necessary to find turning points, but it is very good in some of the questions. There are turning points, and that because of that, we need to add different distances. So because there was no turning point, we were lucky here, but you should find the turning points before finding the final answer.